Hey everybody, uh, Rob here. We're going to take a look at another chateau. Leslie and I are going to uh, walk you through it in just a minute. Uh, but before we do that, we thought it might be nice to do a quick little update on our life. Uh, this is kind of exciting. We've got tickets to fly to France in less than a week. Um, the whole thing has been a journey. And I guess the reason I'm putting this hike video behind my narration is because it's kind of felt like that. This is Angel's Rest in Oregon. It's a uh, a hike with I think about 1500 feet of elevation, two miles, just kind of a gradual climb. Uh, you get tired, you're sore, but uh, it's incredible when you get to the top. And we're hoping the same for for this journey to France. Um, yeah, we got tickets in six days. Uh, Poland is accepting Canadians. Thank you, Poland. So we're going to fly from Portland to Chicago, Chicago to Paris, uh, Paris to Poland, and then maybe drive or train back. Uh, to Paris, but we're kind of hoping, we're secretly hoping uh, France is just going to let us in. We've got all the paperwork and the negative tests and the vaccinations, and uh, we've done our homework, and um, I mean, we'll see what happens. Prayers appreciated and well wishes. Um, thanks for coming along with uh, with this on us, with us on this journey. It's It's been something, and uh, and so hopefully you enjoy this chateau. We think we got about three more of these. We're going to upload them every couple days just as we get close to France, and then hopefully next week, we start shooting uh, from France season two. That's going to be fun. By the way, uh, where the glasses come into the shot, that's where I parked on the psych. Oh, yeah, at the end, too. Bonus waterfall footage. All right, so this one, All right, so this one we're going to call Chateau Gite. <laughs> sure. Is that? Um, so right away, oh, my goodness, this is one of my favorite bits. Uh, they had this lovely gate that you could see off the straight off the road, and then there was this little teardrop. Uh, driveway that I thought was very enchanting. Yeah, it's uh, a good look. It's actually not a huge lot. Like, I think it was only a nope. couple of acres in kind of a small town. It was a village, honestly. Yeah, but a delightful backyard. It was. This was a cute little arbor that took you back to the pool, which was also lovely. One of my favorite shots. We actually stayed overnight at this um, house. Yeah, we stayed for, I think, four or five nights. Yeah, in nights. one of the jeets. And yeah. sitting right here, on the chaise with your feet up by the pool with the house in the background it really was quite wonderful yeah and i mean with the price you know 700s uh it was euro great. we really thought this was a possibility five sheets or five buildings something like that mm, yeah Four or five. yeah something like that and of course i love what the outside looked like it had some nice stone carving and um mm. i love a hip roof uh, so all of those bits I loved. Yeah, the main building a lot smaller than some of the others, but here's one of the jeets. Um, now, some, one of the jeets, by the way, he she, uh, she bought from a neighbor, I believe. Oh, this one, so I think. So it was the adjoining uh, property. Yeah, very small little houses. But they're super cute. Yeah. And they were holiday houses that they would rent out. Um, right. All super self-contained. French charm. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they said. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> And then some of them had beams, and yeah. you can see, uh, I think it was this one that actually was really quite old, and now I can't remember exactly the details, but um, really beautiful stone uh, and fireplaces. And functional. Beams. Yeah. It's yeah, nice completely room here, functional. Eh? Like that's, that's, that's all right. Yeah. Um, so this would have been good. I mean, obviously, something like this during the winter, you could go into a smaller space and heat it for not an arm and leg would be great, too. Mm -hmm. Or rent it yeah. and gain some income. These cool, uh, I like these attic rooms. Yeah, I do, too. They were nice. great. Anything, I mean, for us North Americans, anything with the cool beams, it just, <laughs> it really calls to us. Yeah, it's true. Well, anything with old stone, old yeah. beams, old anything actually is super cute. So It looks a little bit rough and, there, maybe. And every um, Jeep was different, too. Yeah. So um, this was the one we stayed yeah. in, actually. Maybe the nicest one. Maybe. It was big. It was bigger, anyway. It had lots lots of bedrooms. You mm -hmm. um, came down the hall. There was a bathroom. Yeah. I think that was the only bathroom, actually. Oh, yeah. Um, and then there was this big open area, living room kind of area. Oh, now we're walking in the house. Okay. So that was it for the, uh, for the sheets, by the way. Yeah. So anyways, you come into the house and, um, the house wasn't super large. Uh, oh. it was a smaller, one of those sort of little petite chateaus that we went upstairs. This was in the back kitchen that actually was quite charming. Um, not again, huge, but totally fine for a normal person doing normal meals uh, um, now the owner was uh was an artistic person and had some pretty dramatic colors on the wall yes yes so you you know you kind of have to look past maybe paint but um yeah. but paint well, is paint some we people can... like the colors and yeah, people, yeah oh, for you sure know. you can uh, you can always change paint right right um the dining room actually in this house i think 
could have been uh, big enough um, and is quite pretty. Got some good um, detail, nice yeah, flooring. Yeah, for sure. And they had the pretty, pretty floors. They had the molding on the doors, um, all of those kinds of things. It's just there weren't a lot of public rooms. So for yeah. us to have extra places for kids to hang out, this was actually the foyer yeah. um, that they made into an extra bedroom because they were also using this as... Um, a rental, perhaps. Mm, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was unusual to see a, a bedroom right in the front. It was a little, room. but... Um, unusual for us. There's me tripping. Uh, and then up the stairs. Yep. Uh, again, cute little um, staircase. Everything was in good shape in mm -hmm. this house. Uh, no nothing felt like it was falling apart or, you know, it would need extra attention or anything. Um, so that was really nice. There just wasn't a ton of bedrooms for the amount that maybe we needed. This was the main bedroom, uh, probably or the biggest bedroom that was very charming. It mm -hmm. was super cute. Oh, here we'll have a look at the front yard. Yep. Now, um, I'll stop I it like for here. That. Yeah, so, yeah, it was nice. Now, the town didn't have as many amenities as we thought. It was a tiny, like, it was more like a village. Yeah, and I don't even think there was, was there a bakery? There may have been a bakery. Mm, I don't think there was, but there was a yeah. Super U, uh, oh, yeah. which is one of those really big grocery stores, kind of like right. um, Superstore in Canada. Yeah, or, or uh, I don't know. Sure, Safeway. Walmart or, or something. Yeah, I yeah, don't know. Right. Um, and that was really close, like, you could walk to it. Mm -hmm. um, and then down these other halls were a few other... Um, smaller bedrooms yeah, how many again, bedrooms were in it uh, i want to say seven or eight pretty dramatic paint colors again but you know and, and you know looking at it now with our eyes now in, in a lot of ways uh maybe a little less to fix up in this house much smaller mm -hmm. for one thing mm -hmm. it's like the windows are in decent shape mm -hmm. yeah um, maybe, they do you know again some decorating work to do probably yeah but, but uh, no big deal yeah that's doable um you know paint i don't ever count as something that you have to yeah. really fix though paint is expensive it is expensive in, in france significantly yeah it is know. actually yeah. but um but you know uh some can of be these, done. yeah and you can go bit by bit but um and some of these weren't so bad i was i was super interested that they said that of course during the war it was occupied by nazis which that always right. catches my imagination one of my favorite things and i'm hoping we're going to go up to it um was the upper area the very top part of the chateau oh yeah the attic uh-huh and it was very cool here we go oh, oh one more bathroom yeah. Yeah. one more bathroom and that might I be guess. it <laughs> you're not gonna <laughs> Sorry, see the guys attic. it's fun up there just a short little video but it was a fun fun little guy okay thanks for watching Have a good night all right it's uh spring and I'm working on some syllabi, so I thought, I mean, I could sit in my office. But of course I live in Oregon, so why would I redo syllabi in my office when I could put the backpack on and uh, come out here on a nice hike and uh, do the syllabus. At the top of a waterfall. Yeah, isn't that great? Great. Try really hard not to fall in. Yeah, that's cool. Welcome to Oregon. <laughs>